Hey, what's going on? Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First things first, we give our praise to the Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash. Um, double honors to apostles and elders from GMS and Learners True from. Blessings to the Akim out there, preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity. And uh, blessings to Andre the 44,000 and one third. First fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biaf Dawada. And what's going on, confusion of faces. Join to our ranks, speaking in different tongues, looking different nations. Shalom, what's going on, Akim? Uh, today, um, you know, I'm basically uh, getting a little update, um, slight update on the Mark of the Beast RFID chip. Came across this video that's pretty much um, in 2018, uh, which is, you know, um, considered to be the year of prophecy. Absolutely. And... Um, I can get into Revelation 13 to 15, but I kind of actually want to get a little, um, you know, the majority of my video will be, you know, kind of giving you a, um, a, a update on RFID chip. Most Akium, um, you know, pretty much, you know, who do does the videos and does the work in true sincerity, they understand what the uh, mark of the beast is, which would be the RFID chip, radio frequency identification chip. It's about like the size of, uh, of a grain of rice. For the most part, and um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be basically um, you know into the in between the thumb and the index finger in the right hand, and it's also going to be chips in the forehead as well um, that the scriptures talk about. Um, I did some research on uh, the forehead scriptures. What is retaining to is basically uh, chips in the brain is going to be able to you know manipulate the brain's patterns and be able to make it make the person smarter and be able to calculate faster. Um, you know, they're going to be able to buy and sell as well. Um, it's a lot, uh, uh, also, there's, a, there's going to be a chip supposed to be coming out in the forehead as well regarding like, you know, say if somebody had paralysis, things of that nature, they're going to be able to place it in the brain or somewhere on the spinal cord where it'll be able to, you know, fix paralysis and things of that nature. And so, you know, it's a bio chip, you know, bio being, um, you know, you know, human body like that, and then the chip being, um, you know, uh, technology or whatever. Uh, you know, you know, Esau, so-called white man, they definitely, you know, got their hands in the in the pot where, you know, their their technology is getting crazy in this kingdom, and you know, they up they got a whole lot of things up their sleeve. So you know, it's just what it is. Prophecy was is, is you know, it's going to be fulfilled, and uh, this is you know part of the situation needs to go down before. Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, and Indians get out of here. So this prophecy is, you know, on its way. It's screaming. We know about the RFID chip, and if you don't, um, you know, I'm putting this video up to feed the lost sheep, give an idea of what's going on, and you know, in a little update. Now this video is pretty much um, that I'm gonna put up. It's pretty much like, um, uh, you know, about like around like in between. Maybe it could be like June, or I'm not sure if it's July or whatever. Um, but it's pretty relevant it's still because the RFID chip will be mandatory soon in the future um, by the so-called white man. So, you know, what's going to happen is just give you a little update um, or like or, or not even an update, some somewhat of a, um, you know, chronological order, you know, style of, um, you know, uh, events that's going to happen. That's that's going to make this RFID chip come to pass, which it will because the scriptures say it will. I'm going to Matthew 5 about that one. Um, in this case scenario, uh, we all know the scriptures talk about, you know, famine of the word, famine of bread, things of that nature. You know, there's going to be there's going to be an economy crash of the of America, of the so-called America, which is Babylon, daughter of Babylon. And also, you know, say Babylon the Great and whatever. And this economy crash is going to force um, you know, the American dollar to, to be valued of nothing. It's already value at nothing. It's a fiat currency and the, the dollars that we have in our pockets and purses or whatever it is you have is basically a debt note. You just exchanging debt for more debt, you know, and that's just that's pretty much what it is. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh deals with uh, gold and silver and we're not dealing with gold and silver at all. We're dealing with this paper that just has a value of of so-called Esau, the so-called white man. 
you know, their word is saying this, it's this much value as a verbal, but there's no backing of no gold and silver at all. It's just paper and print and print and print causing more debt. Now, we also know about these particular countries, you know, maybe Russia, you got China, Iran, uh, Venezuela is on the bandwagon now. More countries are backing out the dollar and they're trading it oil in oil with the so-called uh, yuan in China, which is which is backed by gold and has a lot more benefit and value. And so they're backing out the dot American dollar, which right now the American dollar is the world reserve currency as of right now, but it's dwindling to not at all, which once the, once countries back off and not use the American dollar anymore, it's going to cause hyper hyperinflation. And then the American dollar will be nothing. And then the economy will crash and then nobody will be able to work. You know, no no food trucks will go to the markets. Nobody be able to work and make any money. My prediction was, as far as like a you know in gen, in like a small prediction, there was a, a picture I saw in the 1928-29 the Great Depression where people were using American dollars as um, like wood for fire. The same thing is going to happen again um, when it comes to that particular situation. Where my prediction would be like. The streets of the, the streets of America is going to look like a strip club. It's going to look like a strip club with a, a bunch of money all over the floor. It's going to be worth nothing. See, it's not going to be people running through the streets picking picking money up. It's going to be it's going to be like a wasteland of trash of paper dollars because the value was nothing. You couldn't pick that dollar up and buy you know buy a Snickers bar if you wanted to, you know, or a cotton ball. You know, man, that dollar is going to be, you know, nothing. And so once the economy crash, the new world order is going to kick in. And in order to have a different currency, they're going to infiltrate that chip in your right hand in between the index finger and the thumb. And also in your forehead, that's going to come at some point as well, probably via surgery. Um, but the chip in the right hand could be in your left hand as well, but it's going to be in the right. It's going to be in the hand. Where you're going to be able to buy and sell. You're going to be able to have medical records on the chip. You're going to be able to understand your temperature, your thermogenics of your body. They're going to be able to control your money. GPS. Um, you know, they're going to be able to, um, let's just say you got in trouble and you owe the so-called IRS or the white man some money. They're not about to send you a letter. They're not about to warn you. They're not about to tell you like, oh, you better pay or else. Nah, it's going to be or else, yeah, but they're not about to just mess with you. If you got 16000 6, 16000 or et cetera, et cetera, in your account and you owe $5,000, they are not about to just ask you about your money. They about to, they're just going to go in there and take your money without you, without you having to have a say-so because that's just what it's going to be. And so it's going to get real crazy. Then I also heard about before, because uh, you can see the scripture, I got it up on the screen. Um, also, also, I saw a video. Um, I didn't. I don't have that up now, but I did see a video about how they was going to have um, the RFID chip to be able to be self-destructed. So, like, if something was to go wrong, you know, they can basically just self-destruct the the, uh, the RFID chip, where it's basically like poison into the body and can kill you right there on the spot. I mean, look, this chip is not good at all. So-called Negro, Latino, Native Indians, we ain't supposed to be taking this chip. It ain't, it ain't supposed to be there. Now, if I get into these scriptures, what I got on the screen now, I have Revelations 13 and uh, 15 through through 17. Very famous. We're going to keep putting these putting these these scriptures up until the prophecy keeps coming to pass when it's mandatory. It says, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the beast of the image, image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and or in their foreheads. There we go. And it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, there is a there is a, 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 a YouTube channel. There's a brother you know, brother Naquam or whatever, you know, he 
brother knows the scriptures. He knows different things, but he goes off with this mark of the beast. He says it's a spiritual mark. Um, you know, I'm a little lost with that one. You know what I mean? You know, um, you know, I've been listening to the Akim speak and kind of give us some some thought and some research. Look at the etymologies and the root words of the, because um, you know the the uh, mark is uh, the beast is basically um, means karagma. And so, but uh, and I think the etymology is karas, like like pale or a stake. And um, karagma means like stamp or mark. But he was talking about how the, um, you know, the mark of the beast was a spiritual mark, where this mark of the beast is basically, um, you know, uh, put out by Esau, the so-called white man. But we know that Esau... Is, is a carnal particular person, no spirituality built in him at all. So how can Esau put out a spiritual mark if Esau is dwelled on carnalism or just being carnal, basically? I'm going to say it just like that. I don't want to mess the words up. Lost me with that one. Um, Esau is the wicked. There's nothing spiritual about uh, Esau, especially when he sold his birthright because he is carnal. So if you spiritual, you wouldn't have sold your birthright because you would have been more in a spirituality at his word. And you would have been worried about the, the future of the kingdom at hand, which the birthright was that at first. So if you knew what the kingdom of heaven was, then you would have been more spiritual on your future dwellings about how you move because you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you want to you want to dwell on spirituality so, to, so you can make that happen. But Esau, like, nah, I want to I want to eat some food. Forget that birthright. Fuck all that. You can have it. I need some food right now. That's carnal. So if Esau was to be a have a spiritual mark, that don't make no sense. That don't add up. So you know, I'm gonna get into this video. Speaking a little little bit already. Um, get into this a little bit. And take a look at this. These days, people are modifying their bodies in all sorts of weird and wonderful ways. From surgically implanted horns in your head to some very odd changes indeed. Personally, I wouldn't have any of these cosmetic modifications. But there is a host of more useful technology that people are starting to have put under their skin. Oh, isn't that nice? Useful technology for people having implanted under their skin. Seriously? If you'd, if you'd shown this even five years ago, people would be going, what? And I hope people are rightly outraged by this. But it doesn't seem they are because there's been very little commentary about this on uh, online. I posted some stuff on Twitter after I saw it. But... Oh, carry on watching. It might sound a bit sci-fi, but some companies promise a future where... Okay, so right there, what you're saying right there... You know, if any brothers don't know, I know a lot of brothers do, but you know, this is there's no preaching law sheet. Um, this is what this is the chip looks like. Now, this is a, a enlarged size, but this is the RFID chip, radio frequency identification chip. That's about a grain of rice. That's how big it is. It's enlarged right now, but it's really about a uh, a size of a grain of rice, though. Put that out there. You can open doors, pay for your dinner, or even clear customs using microchips implanted in your hand. Now that right there is exactly what the Bible was talking about. It says, it says, playing a mark of the beast will be in the right hand or in the forehead. That's exactly where the chip, that's exactly what the Bible was talking about when it said in your right hand. Literally. The Bible, the prophecy of the mark of the beast is exactly what you see on the screen. That is the mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast is also physical, especially when it specifically talks about buying and selling. When you particularly want to buy and sell merchandise or et cetera, or some type of a product, you need some type of physical entity in order to exchange, in order to actually make a transaction. This born in Quam or whatever's going on with these other, you know, particular, uh, you know, People, so-called prophets, or false prophets, of what they are saying that it's, it's philosophies and it's a spiritual mark. That's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. There's no spiritual situation that's on the planet Earth right now where we can actually buy and sell due to some spirituality. 
You don't do that. That's not that's not realistic. We don't spiritually pay for things and sell things. We don't do that. We have to use Esau's fiat paper paper dollar, or if you in any other country, you use their dollar to buy and sell. This whole spiritual mark thing is just way off left field. I don't know what's going on with these balls, man, but don't, uh, man. Woo, it's crazy. Let's get back to it. Well, that's the plan, isn't it? Why is everything going online and digital? Why is uh, why are we becoming a cashless society? We're paying things with contactless cards or with apps on phones. It's to get everything, if you get everything digital and online, um, it's easily tracked, traced, and databased. It's just it's another way of keeping us all under surveillance and controlled, basically. And these microchips are the ultimate. This is the ultimate goal. And we'll see more about that later on. Here we go. Stephen Northam runs the UK's first human microchipping company. And of course, he has one fitted. As technology is quite simple. It's the same technology using cats and dogs. All the data stored on the microchip itself only is readable when it's scanned against an external reader. The implant contains a unique identifier code and uses close-range radio communication, so when you swipe your hand against the reader, it knows it's you. So currently, the microchips can be used for opening doors, um, starting cars, so swiping your hand on a steering wheel. It's not you can start a car. a car with it? Start your car, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, look. Yeah, you can open doors with it. Yeah, <laughs> this is. And so you see, Jake, you see, Jake, that's an Israelite right there, the brother in the uh, laptop screen. Oh, you can start a car. All right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to be a lot of us, Jake, not me, but, you know, call Lord Yahabashi Moshah. You know, I pray for the spirit and the faith to, you know, just be, to get, you know, stay away from that. Um, no matter what's going on, family, you know, whatever's going on, I'm, you know, how about Shimon Shah delivered me from that situation at all? But then in the day, though, you see Jake on the screen like, yeah, you know what I mean? You know he will take the chip. When that hour of temptation come, Jake like that going to take the chip. A lot of Jake, so-called Negro, Latino, the Indians are going to be in a situation of tribulation. And they're going to be like, I'm taking that chip to survive. Having no faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it's going to take that chip. It's crazy. Part of the whole surveillance by convenience agenda that's going on you know um how many things you know it's like smart meters supposedly to uh help us save money they don't save us money i made a video about that as well which you can see i'll either post a link here or i'll post a link in the description but it is surveillance by convenience you know it's making technology you know easy technology that makes things supposedly easier but the downside of it is that it's just more of your privacy being taken away. You're being more tracked, traced, and databased wherever you go. So everything you do, wherever you go, is being uh, traced, tracked, and recorded and stored for future use by who knows who for who knows what. And that's the dangers, isn't it? Let's carry on. Yeah, logging onto laptops so I can scan my hand, and my laptop logs in. Look at that. And future technology for this is contactless payments, passports, whole variety of different technologies could be integrated into the chip. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Get everything digital. So if you had a chip implanted, this is the real danger, isn't it? If you had a chip implanted which had all your bank details on it, so you wouldn't need a card, you could just swipe your hand, you'd have your medical records on it, um, you could use it for travelling or, like they say, for getting through customs or uh, passport control, things like that. So... It, if that is the future, which clearly this is what this is leading to, what happens if um, the government of the day, if you if the, you don't like what the government's doing and you protest, and they just turn off your chip? Well, you can't travel anywhere, you can't pay for anything, um, and uh, I'm gonna stop it right there. So right about now, this Edomite. You know, in his spirit, he's an Edomite. This Edomite is talking about the defects and the dangers of what's going to happen. It, you know, what can happen with the chip. Number one, you took the chip. And I'm speaking to the 
the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians right now. Not no Edomites right now. I ain't worried about no Edomites. My goal is to speak to the, to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, I'm one of those men. That is my goal, to make these videos and be on the highways and hedges with the Akium to get to the hopeful elect. That's the idea. That's what's going on. Now, I'm speaking to the, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel right now, the elect. He's talking about the dangers and what will happen and what can happen with the chip. The government turning off your, turning off the situation, you know what I mean? Turning it off or stealing your money or whatever they want to do. But the real danger, it's not about the government. The real danger is Yahweh wa Yahweh Shah. That's the real danger. Now, let's go to the real danger on if you take the chip. Because when you take the chip, you automatically effed up. But if you don't take the chip, the real danger of taking the chip is in Revelation 14. And it says, it says in the third, in Revelation 14 and 9. Now, don't worry about what that Edomite just said about taking the chip and worrying about by having the chip, the dangers of having the chip and what can happen on with the chip. What you need to worry about is by taking the chip in general, what Yahweh, what Yahweh Shah is going to do, and it's the situation at hand that we're going to be in. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his, in his forehead or in his hand. We already seen, I just showed you what the hand was looking like in that grace, in that grace, rice, rice grain. In your hand you seen what that was it's called the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast okay now 10 the same shall drink of wine of the wrath of thy power which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation which is anger and he shall be t tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the lamb the lamb is would be Yahweh Shah, ignorant name of Jesus Christ, if you ever know, but the lamb is Yahweh Shah. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they shall have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Don't be worrying about taking the chip and worrying about, oh, they're going to turn my chip off or GPS or, you know, they're going to take my money or whatever it is you thinking while the chipping's in your hand. That's the least of your worries. The most of your worries is Yahweh, Yahweh Shah destroying you for taking the chip, going against them, getting the worst judgment ever. The kingdom of heaven is going to be not for you at that particular time frame. It's a wrap for you. Do not take the chip. So-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Indians. The mark of the beast is the R I F the R I the R F I D chip. Radio frequency identification. It's going in the hand about here, and they're gonna be playing chips in your forehead as well. If you gotta go out for Yahweh Yahweh Shah by not taking it, oh well. The dead in Yahweh Shah arise first at the end of the day. Pray about it, be about it, and don't go about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Lord willing, this was edifying. We'll give all praise to the Father. He is to be exist, Yahweh, by Hashem in the name. And the, whole, and the only begotten Son, He delivers, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem in the name. And the Holy Spirit of Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders to learn his truth from. And um, blessings to the Akim out there, preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity. And blessings to the 144,000 and one third, first fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, that be Yahweh, and uh, what's going on, confusion of faces, speaking different tongues, looking different nations. Shalom, brothers.